So there we go, guys. We have the full turbo kit ready to go. I'm going to go check the instructions on the Flying Miata. Gosh, I cannot drink pop before I do these videos. Um, I'm going to go check the Flying Miata instructions and see what I need to do next. And then I will let you guys follow me to the garage and see what we got to do. Hey, guys. There it is. Uh, the turbo kit that I will be putting on. So I got all the water lines. As you can tell, the oil feed line and everything on there. What we got going on here, basically on the car, as you can tell, we have the oil feed line. So what it does, it goes right down there in the bottom. Um, basically, I think everything's ready for the turbo to go sit in there. Um, you have to bash in this a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down, set the turbo into the car. Alright guys, we have um, the full turbo kit installed pretty much now, so now it's time to get down to the intercooling portion. <clears throat> so here's the intercooler we have, um, it's just a side area on front mount. Uh, what we have here is I'm texting the guy that I bought the kit from to see where the brackets exactly mount to. Um, but in the meantime, what we're going to be doing is installing and figuring out where all the, the pieces go. So. Look at all of it. So here, obviously, this is the, the intake portion because it has all the bungs and stuff for air temperature sensor, um, vacuum hose, and all that stuff. So that goes there, and there's the blow up valve and everything too. So that we know where it goes. So I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna lay everything out and see where it, you know, just keep it kind of in line. Um, this is obviously that goes to the turbine of the. Uh, on the turbo, so I'm just gonna set this up here because it's kind of obvious. Then there's only two pieces left, um, so one of these pieces, I'm not sure exactly where it goes. Um, I'm assuming once you know the intercooler's on, this pipe's not anything. I think this is the piece that goes to the intake or on the, the cold side of it, whatever. Actually, we got three more. Uh, we got this. I'm Pretty much 100% positive this goes on top of the turbo. Um, I'm trying to think how this all routes. I think this goes there, so this probably attaches to the intercooler. So that'll be on this side. And then this must be the piece that goes onto the top of the turbo that goes down. And then this piece attaches here. And then So, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I just take some testing and tuning, but we'll, you know, we'll get there. And it's cool, we need a couple extra T band clamps, so these are expensive. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, I think what we're going to do first is I'm going to mount the intake one because that's kind of self explanatory. <sighs> Alright, guys, so we got, after like five hours, like everything else is easy, but this thing is the hardest piece. So, what we got going on here is we got. Um, I'll show you the brackets as before. This thing, we're gonna mount there, and then mount up underneath the headlight. But, when I got this one done, the other one decided to snap in half, like so. So, I decided to go FM style. So this is how Flying Miata does their kits. So you just have a bar across the top, and then you got two here that uh, mount up towards the hood release. Um, it was only about 10 bucks in uh, metal sheeting, um, but this is really thick stuff. It burnt out too much drill bits, so I had to go um, to a neighbor's house and use a, um, a drill press. So now that's on there. Now we can throw all the pieces together. 